I'm up. The children are getting dressed. About time. The field isn't going to plow itself. Children, come on. We've got a busy day. What are you looking at? I thought I saw an animal, but it was nothing. Enjoy this time. Your first kill is always the sweetest. <laughs> There'll be many more by my hand. Spoken like a true daughter of Alpin. No, blooded warrior. She has earned her place in our band. Get it. Did you not use any of your spells? My magic is only for battle. This test was hard. Now she's ours. All declare her worthy. Worthy! 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 Mora, do you wish to be the breath of the woods? Aye. To watch the hills, to ward the forest, to heed your chief, and to honor your tribe? Aye. Blood on your blade. Blood on your hand. Blood on your tongue, blood on your land. Child, the wind, and the trees. You have proved yourself worthy. Rise now, breath of the woods. You have won your place in the tribe. The tribe hails Mora! Mora! Search the dwelling, then burn it. Look for beasts. I see none. I want gold and cattle. Bet the treasure lies further south. I found mead. We drink to my daughter. I. We got food tonight. <laughs> We learned the taste of servitude beneath the Roman rule. They gave us roads and baths and peace, but treated us like fools. The legion left us long ago, retreated back to Rome. And now we must defend our lives, our freedom, and our homes. For the northern storm is rising, an azure sea of war. The picks come down to seize the lands they could not take before. Now our only protection is what's left of an old wall. When kings rule and die by the sword, they don't have far to fall. Is that from Brother Antonius? Yes, he is distressed. He says the picks have breached the wall and are moving south into Britannia. Adrian's wall was supposed to keep them back forever. It felt a ruin without Roman troops and engineers to keep it in repair. Now, no one goes up there unless they want their skulls adorning a Pictish fort. We'll be destroyed. The Picts hate us for our allegiance to Rome. They're still far away. But Alpin's hunger is like that of a wolf. 
He grows bolder every month. Trade will suffer. Do you think he remembers you? Probably not. You know him? I think it's time that we tell them. All right. I was once a soldier in the Legion. You were a soldier for Rome? Yes. The Empire sent us to patrol the wall. I heard so many strange tales about the pigs that I wanted to see one of their villages for myself. Going north of the wall was strictly forbidden, of course. So, my friend Lucius and I... My eyes are upon you! Look up here! You fail! Tis my wood! Where you are, you should not be! I'll be. Skill, but Alpin's wood chose Alpin. Help these Romans back to their high stone walls. <clears throat> Why didn't he kill you? If Alpin killed us, the Romans would have had to attack to punish him. My commander was furious, and Lucius was flogged. Alpin's spear destroyed my leg, splintered my bone. Husband, father of children. I barely survived. So you weren't in the army anymore? No. A main man can still do letters and numbers. I was put in charge of the correspondence and the accounts. I had friends that sent me books. I read all I could. Then the legions were recalled. I could not travel with them. But, by then, I was blessed to have found a fine local healer. And now you help me with my work. Galen's medical texts do have some knowledge that the druids had not acquired. I can read his books. And I enjoy teaching the children their letters and numbers. Can you teach us to fight? The British have not had to fight in over 300 years. I fear they will have to learn. Is there any more news? Yes. The chiefs have named Vortigern to be High King. Hmm. A good choice. He served with the legions and is an honorable man, even if he does follow the old ways. I pray he can organize a defense. Can I go and fight with him? Ambrosius, you are far too young. This land is no longer Roman. We should start using his British name, Emrys. Look, sir, I'm gonna make hundreds of these for our archers. I'm sure you will, but 
Will they fly straight? I don't know. Let's go find out. Bring one. Bring one. Excellent work. Excellent work. Wonderful shot, my king. Well, thank you. Now draw! Ah! Opposite color out. Knock your arrow. Pull your feet. Point them. Point your feet. Elbow up. Point your feet. Pull back. Farther. Don't fist grip it. Fist grip? My prince! Do you require assistance? I have some experience with this form of killing. Yes. I need help, and more help. I'm an excellent shot, but I don't know how to tell these people to break their horrible shooting habits. I believe I can help. We are desperate. We must have help end soon. I need everyone who can swing a sword to be able to do so. What's, what's that jester at? He's not feeling well. And what is his sickness? He's our bard. In times of Rome, bards never fought. If we fail, the pigs have their own bonds. I have no need of any songs. I need fighters. I need him here now. Yes, Father. Uh, yes, my lord. Daughter of the sea. I call now between the worlds. Power of the room, come to me. Cross the sea to victory. here in the dark. Be gone. I want no one disturbing me. Better me than my father. Look at me now. You're useless in here. I am waiting for inspiration for my next song. <laughs> By pickling your brain. This is the poet's bed. It is part of the ancient druidic tradition. I lie in the dark where it's warm and quiet until the song develops in my brain. So you plan on just lounging around, waiting for ideas? It is my sacred duty as bard of the clan. And when was the last time you wrote a song? Don't you understand? I need my poet's bed. I need to lie here, away from the years of Roman rule, so that my creative consciousness can develop, so that the song can flow through the ether, so the words can grow in my mouth, so the music can metastasize into a song worthy to be heard before the High King. I'll be out when it's finished. He's not writing, he's not fighting, he just rots in bed. See, I can make a song too, you sluggard. <sighs> Dove, that was not a song. Well, it is more than what you've written in a year. Now you see, everyone who's not working in the village is learning how to fight, except for you. <sighs> Don't you see? I don't want to learn how to fight. These years of Roman occupation have destroyed my creative consciousness. And we tell these lies and sing these songs about glory and honor. And at the end of the day, we are killing and maiming other people. Many, most of our ancestors died fighting the Romans. And when it was over, the Romans won and they brought peace. Are you a coward? 
or a full taliasin. We're free now. You don't owe tribute to some tyrant across the sea. Our lands are not being shackled by their roads and our forests are not being decimated for their cities. You know that my parents were slaves to Rome and I would rather die than serve another master. You are not of our blood, but you would fight with us? This is my land, as it is yours. Very well. Let me dunk myself in the river, and then we'll go swing swords for a few hours. Let me go rinse the very nice wine out of my eye. Yes! Ah, yeah. ah. <laughs> Was granted, sire. The bed should be ready by now. Not yet. It takes a long time for the oven to heat up. You should have started the fire earlier. Earlier? I was up before the dawn. The wood was still wet. Oh, that's because you didn't cover it when it started raining yesterday. But it was dark, and I couldn't see. My queen, I must apologize. Tavis couldn't start the fire on time this morning, and the bread is still not done. That's all right, Enid. I'm not that hungry yet. Just send it to us later. Oh, thank you, my queen. You're lucky she's such a kind lady. If I were lucky, I'd be married to a kind lady. <laughs> How many more swords? Five. We'll need more. Well, my apprentice is sleeping, so he will have the forge going all night. And how many there? Four. Four by morning? Yes. Would you rather I do axes or spears as they are faster? Swords. We need swords. Yes, sir. My king, I know you were desperate. If you would but turn to the true faith. True faith? What is the true faith doing for the Romans now? Antonios, you have your followers. My family is not amongst them. The Romans destroyed the power of your druids. No. They attacked them, but did not destroy them. Meriden and the Guinevere's are tending the fires to the west. Tend to your own flock. Sit there. Okay. We need your counsel. My lord king, I have a response from lords Hengist and Horsa. Um, they accept your offer. Why are you corresponding with the Saxon chiefs? Because they are the best fighters since the Romans. They are savages. The Romans once said we were savages to you. Yes. The Saxons are like us in so many ways. But how can you trust them? By creating an alliance that benefits us both. The Saxons are bringing their families. They're coming to settle down. They're going to help us drive the pigs back in exchange for good farmland. And we have so many fields that have lain fallow since the Romans left. A king must plan ahead. The pigs are getting closer every day. They're killing our folk in the north. And the people here are not yet fighters. They are brave and strong. But not yet battle-tested. Hang us, Norris. 
They've been fighting the Huns all of their lives. My scouts keep me informed. Alphonse's youngest daughter has already killed more than you. A king must look to the best for all his people. A king must do this. A king must do that. Yes, my queen. The king must. We cannot hold back the picks. Rome barely stands. The power has shifted to the east, to some port city on the Black Sea. It is their capital. Suppose all the Saxons decided to invade as well. We must have allies. Sometimes the best choice is the one that is the least harmful. Send a message to the Saxons. Have them come as soon as possible. I do not like this. Neither do I. Wife. Would you rather our people be slain by the Picts? Prepare for their arrival. We must welcome them. <sighs> what am I doing? I do not like these Saxons. I do not care for any of us who we call pagan. No. Despite their ignorance of the true God, I find many of the people here to be good folk. But how can you trust a hired sword? Lord Phineas, our lawkeeper, who keeps the laws that preserves our land and our people. Lord Hingist, do you swear to uphold the terms of our arrangement? People of Britain, I will serve you in battle and honor you in friendship. Their alliance bring peace and prosperity. Peace and prosperity. Lord Hangus, Lord Horsa. Hope your journey was good. Our journey is not yet done. But we are glad to be here. Our sister Rorina, our bow sorceress, and my wife, Nelda. My queen Severa. My son, Cadogan. And my daughter, Dove. This looks to be a fertile land. We shall do well here. So where are those blue demons you want us to slaughter? In the northern forests. Eldrida, Wilfric, Brand, prepare the warriors. We leave tomorrow. Dove shall show you to your lodgings. We sharpen our swords tonight. Mine is already sharp. Come with me, please. Are you truly Vorjan's daughter? By adoption. My parents were brought here as slaves to the Romans, but they escaped. It was a harsh journey, 
when my mother was pregnant. My father died defending her from a wild boar. And King Vortigern found them. He was so impressed by my father's courage that he took my mother in. But she was weak from travel and did not survive my birth. But Vortigern took me in as his own. Oh, you are very lucky. Yes, I am. You see, son, the new alliance will be successful. Are we going with them? To attack the Picts? Of course we are. I want to see them fight. Your mother will rule while we're gone. I'll leave some more as the guard of the village. At last, some combat! Believe it or not, that is what they like to wear. <laughs> How do I know? <laughs> Three are restless. We left no one alive back there. Something's about that should not be. The nearest village is half a day away. No, it is much closer than that. I hear nothing. I feel a disquiet. Everyone, gather in. Listen to him. Where are the others? Still searching the cottages. They'll find us. Seal, seal, seal. Seal, seal, seal. Seal. Sign of it. The pigs move through a forest like a rat's little storehouse. How can we find them? I will find them. All you have to do is kill them. You Brits haven't had battle magic since the Romans slaughtered your druids. <laughs> that is why we're here to help them. Silence. A sorcerer. It seems our first battle will be at night. I've made songs about night fights, but scare yourselves. That's what they want. One wielder, bond breaker, victory bringer.
Vortigens and the Saxons were victorious. They chased the Picts behind the wall. Oh, we're safe. Praise be to God. Noal, what do you know about the Saxons? They are one of the Germanic tribes ravaging the remains of the empire. Why? Disaster is everywhere. Droughts in Asia, the floods in the north. People have been forced to leave their lands. You're very far from home. Yes, and I'll not be able to go back, nor acquire the exceptional merchandise I used to sell. But I do have some silk. It is very rare, very special. It will look so good on you, my lady. Oh, it's very beautiful, but it's far too costly. For the mother of such fine sons, I'll make a special prize. Buy a bolt, Deidre. End your life before it's gone. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thanks. Thank you very much. Where are you going next? Back to Wotigen's home village. I think business will be very good there. With all the turmoil on the continent, we may be better off here than in Rome. I want to go to school in Rome. There are many learned monks in Ireland. We shall send you there when you're older. Monks are tedious. I want to fight the barbarians. I hope you never have to. With all its corruption, Rome gave us peace. Let us pray for Vortigern and his continued success. I live in a hovel, my cupboard is stark. I work in the fields every day till it's dark. The noblemen say it's the price I must pay for them and their soldiers to kick me all day. <laughs> when I was a boy, my da said, take the sword. You'll capture some lands and you'll be your own lord. They turned me away and did not give a reason. I'm back in the fields for the next planting season. I live in a hovel, my cupboard is stark. I work in the fields every day till it's dark. The noblemen say it's the price I must pay for them and their soldiers to kick me all day. <laughs> they go through our stores and they eat all our food. They come to our fires and they burn all our wood. I told him I do not think this is a deal. My king says they'll not rob us, there's none to steal. I live in a hovel, my cupboard is stark. I work in the fields every day till it's dark. The noblemen say it's the price I must pay for them and their soldiers to kick me all day. Well, if I were a soldier, I'd go see the world. Then I'd miss out on these fine local girls. A young Celtic lass with her hair shining red sends me to plow fields when we're done in her bed. Now up in the castle, the soldiers are starving. While me and the boys take a month off from farming, we sit in the circle and drink all the beer and let them stay mad because we're all pissed down here. I live in a hovel, my cupboard is stark. I work in the fields every day till it's dark. The noblemen say it's the price I must pay for them and their soldiers to kick me all day. Well done. Here! It's good! Good! Super! Good! Hey! Hey! Yeah! Songbird! <laughs> you folks have a fine scop. It's what they call a bard. They like you! Great song. It is good to have your songs again. Well, now, in honor of this special occasion, Rowena shall dance. I would not be so forward. Marcy does not become your sister. Well, perhaps. Well, this company will appreciate your skills. She doesn't have to dance if she doesn't want to. Oh, I think she does. Songbird! Music!
that was not my song. I don't know what I was playing. She did. You're keen as a proclamation. By the laws of our land, I now dissolve my union with my former queen, Severa. The cord is now broken. The marriage is no more. Lady Severa is no longer your queen but she still retains her lands and her status as an honored warrior. I now choose Lady Rowena as my wife. And I choose Jake Vortigo as my husband. joining the blood of your peoples in the light of the sun and the might of the earth. <laughs> and now the Lady Rowena is our queen. Hail Queen Rowena! <laughs> Is that how you welcome her? Hail Queen, Queen Rowena! You did not ask any of your gods for their blessing. I did not know which ones to ask. Theirs or ours. It is much easier when there is only one. There's far too much work in this world for just one god. There would be far less strife in this world if all people would worship the one true God. Is marriage not a sacrament among your people? It is a contract, even when made for love, and either party can break it at either time. Didn't even your own Christian emperors divorce good wives for more advantageous alliances? I fear this alliance shall not be advantageous for anyone. <laughs> Well done, Rowena, I queen of Britain. <laughs> At the expense of their queen, she's a wonderful lady, a great warrior. But how else could I be the queen? You, did you need to be? We have more rich lands than we ever had in Saxony, and we finally live in peace. Nilda, are you content here? Yes. I look forward to raising our children in this good land. <laughs> <laughs> Little brother, you may be ready to settle down and be a farmer, but I would like a realm for myself. There are many other kingdoms on this island. Are those other kingdoms of allegiance to Vorgan? <laughs> the king you swore allegiance to. Ugh, I want to know more about these other kingdoms. Here, this is a map I borrowed from Phineas. Look, these lovely lands lie further south where Vortigern has no kin. So, if you would like to take some land there, I will keep him distracted. <laughs> 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 You shouldn't be looking at such outlandish things. Oh, but they're so beautiful. 
These blue stones are lapis all the way from Persia. You know we can't afford anything like that. We know we have no coin to buy things. But even a merchant who travels around the world must eat. Uh, so uh, butter for your bread then? <laughs> You'll never be hungry again. But I'm sure our royals can pay well. The trade is still good here. Look at our merchants. Very fine fabric. Brought from the Far East along the Silk Road. A perfect wedding present that would please your new queen. Forgive me, my queen. This is very expensive. I cannot just give it away. Hero in the Boutier village is a fair price for their wares. My system was only jesting. We are not beggars. No, we are not. Show me more of your village. Yeah. You should take your wares to another town. You may not want the queen to look at your necklace. It's a good strong one for you there. Uh, Our lands are fertile here and people make it so. You are such there a darling. Go. I feel me sorry to eat you. Ah. Such a good land for the animals. The land is good for the people. Animals come second. Close second. <laughs> yeah, they're nice. We're very proud of our goats, though. So we're here. I would like to see them. Right there they are. <laughs> these, these are my people. <laughs> Pangus, this one's got a better beard than you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then you get your shirts. Oh, come for you. People are fickle. Animals are simple. Look at this. You take care of them, they don't betray you. Ah, oh, so handsome. Brothers, would you like some goats? <clears throat> goats? They are too small. I would rather have some nice, fat cattle. Since my sister's not queen, I wouldn't mind a little kingdom of my own. Cattle? Kingdom? You're getting too greedy. You've received all the land grants from our bargain, and more. Well, not. Logi's boss, this king, does not rule his own people. Brother, please. Yet he dare refuse me? Their ways are different than ours. I did not come here to be a vassal. You may serve him, but I will not. Where's my war band? Wilfred! Eldrina! Friend! You know, I'm not the kind of lord who sends others to his battles. Of late, my blade has been too clean. Our battle with the Picts was a success. But we are born here. Are there other places we can fight? Perhaps. My sister tells me of some realms further south. I could send a raiding party. It would be more jolly to go ourselves. Is there plunder? Of course! Plunder for you and the kingdom for me. We leave tonight. Tell no one. I served you well as queen, wife, and mother. 
I will not stay here while this witch occupies what's rightfully mine. You are still my champion. You took an oath to serve me in battle. Phineas says that oath was void. Is that the law? You broke your marriage bond with her. She may break her war bond with you. She is a free woman. She may leave if she chooses. I wish you safe travels. Mother. Please don't! Then I will go with you. Katachan! Let him leave. Get you another prince. I can have no kingdom without honor. Phineas, you are my witness. I give up my inheritance. Dove, you can have it. I don't want it. Rowena's plan will be glad to take it. They've already taken it. Phineas, is there any recourse? They are within the law, as is your decision to leave. I mislike it as well. Dove, I wish you would stay. Vortigern may yet come to his senses. I doubt it. Farewell, my friends. She was as kind as Bringanthia, but could fight like the Morrigan. No one else must leave. We are sworn to her. To her? But I am the queen. Yes, you are. Then they must swear a new oath of fealty to me. Warriors, to me! Warriors, to me! Kneel before your queen. Kneel. To you, the champions of your tribe, swear upon your honor to be loyal to Queen Rowena, to never do her harm, to always be loyal to her in word and deed. Uh, I. I. So be it. I shall be worthy of your fear. Smithy. Our Saxon allies, these plows. When you're done with that, I have a special design for my lady's new crown. I've not made a crown in quite a while. It's good you can make ornaments and tools now instead of swords. And I look forward to wearing my new crown. <laughs> what the fuck? Not my queen. <laughs> Day. My lord, I regret my foolishness. I'll gladly offer him some silk. Would she also like some jewelry? She would like much more than that. So would I. You'll have your entire cart. If you want to leave, I suggest you run. Now! Whoever gets in first gets a share of the content. Oh. My wife's going to be very happy. You have no wife. I'll buy one. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 
Who could have killed him? These wounds are not from Pictish weapons. Not even Picts would have killed an innocent merchant like this. Maybe there's a trail. We can track them. Yes, my lord. Then the babies, Romulus and Remus, were placed in a basket. The basket floated down the Tiber River till it caught in the roots of a fig tree. Then they were discovered by a she wolf. Did she eat them? No, she protected them, nursed them, and took care of them. The founders of Rome were raised by a wolf. Hand me my sword. Boys, hi. Alms? Alms for a poor widow? Do you know her? No, but she sounds desperate. That was a comfort healing. You should ring the bell. I hear you are a Christian family, and I have not eaten in two days. Let's bear some food. All right, be careful. Please, my lady. are supposed to protect us, not attack us. I came for a kingdom. You can have mine. And I shall. You and your mother can go run and hide in the hills like rabbits. Come, you bastards. There's land here for all of you. Let's go see if there's anyone left alive. Saxons, and worse than picks. I'll take you with us. It's too dangerous to stay. I know the way. I'm going to go ahead. You bring the boys as soon as you can. Take my shield. It should guard you well. Be safe, my son. It looks like both of these paths go west. Are we lost? This way! Why that way? The horse lady showed me! There is no horse lady. If there were, we'd have sed hoof prints. Aunt Droppings, you're making this up. 
I did not, and it's this way. Might as well try it. This is the last of the bread. Don't worry, we'll have better luck hunting tomorrow. I hope we took the right path. We followed the sunset, we must be going west. Hail, Guinevere's noble priestesses. We come from the east to seek your refuge. You feel the thickening shadows. Discord dividing the tribes. Honor stained by blood and iron. Souls drained by evil charms. Lechery and madness. Treachery and sadness. There is healing in the heather. Shade of forest, touch of feather. A disappointed son we will inspire. Two orphans. We will raise a rear. Two empty kettles ready for filling. Are you near it? I am. Enough of your chanting. These people need meat and milk. Come with me to the grove. This is the mound of your ancestors. Our father was Roman. But your mother was of our people. And in this land, the line is carried through the female. We couldn't even bury her. The earth has absorbed her, but she lives in your memories. And here, we shall invoke her spirit. Unsettled spirit, we call you home Across the land and through the loam Back to the source, back to the mound To take your place on the sacred ground Isn't she in heaven? No, not yet. Stand quietly. true that they eat the bodies of those they are slain? Only when they have nothing else. The winters up there are bitter cold, and the Picts are a fierce, proud, brave people. But they are a people like us, and our ancestors used to collect the heads of their enemies. But they paint themselves with woad. The Picts have learned its poor. It is a small yellow floor that creates a blue dye, and the Picts apply it to their bodies. That way, it prevents a wound from becoming corrupt. Also, it lessens the pain, so it gives the warrior greater courage. So that's why they don't wear armor. Aye, 
That's it. Could your magic not stop the Romans? Do you know what magic is? Power. Yes, and all beings have it. Not everyone is a mage. Power has many forms and often contends against itself. Our power was in our pride and our freedom. The Roman was in organization and in order. They cut us up like roast for dinner. So steel is stronger than magic. Even the most finely crafted sword is pathetic in the hands of one who does not know how to use it. Uther, take this stick and attack me with it. <laughs> <laughs> what did you do? I knew where to grab his arm to make him drop his stick. When you learn yourselves, you learn your power, and that becomes your magic. Someday, I'd like to see the rest of the world. Young hearts are always full of desire. My place is here. Holding fast to the old ways with the Guinevere's. I have always heard them called the Guinevere's, but what does it mean? Is it a name? Guinevere is not a name, it is a title. It means the White Phantom. There were once nine of them, bold warrior priestesses who defended this land. Now they're only two. They have not husbands, or no man can possess them. So if they are white phantoms, why do they dress in black? Black is the color of that which is unknown. They bring to light that what is hidden. And did they fight? I've never even seen one of them with a knife. They fought, same as I with magic. The druids could raise storms. We sent hailstones the size of men's heads crashing down on the Romans. Such was the power in those days. What happened to that power? Several centuries ago, Rome sent an army against us. We held back against the first attack. But Rome's supply of men and arms seemed inexhaustible. We could not prevail against their power and discipline. They thought they had destroyed us. We thought it better to remain hidden. Those who need us can always find us. What about the Saxons? They do not know we exist. And I no longer concern myself with what goes on outside my grove. The bread is still not done. I can't get enough firewood to heat the oven properly. The loaves look blemished. Did you see this week's allotment of flour? I had to pick mold out of it at maggots. Ugh, smells like a dead fish. Where is my bread? My queen, it is not ready yet. Still not ready, and it is almost dark? Well, I am so sorry, my queen. Yes, you are sorry. Sorry and miserable and useless. These idlers must be flogged. My queen, I've seen that flower. It is unfit to eat. I wouldn't even feed it to a dog. I'll deal with them. You two, come with me. Very good, but what will happen when she finds out? She'll be even angrier that you've tricked her. We need to leave. And go where? West, to where our true queen is. That will be a hard journey. I will take you. You've drawn the wrath of the Saxon queen and you're not safe here. 
Hide in your cottage until the moon rises, and we'll head out tonight. God does not want me here anymore. My father has lost his honor, and I will not serve as queen. You two will need protection. I'll gather the warriors, and we'll go with you. And we'll let her bread burn. <laughs> You're both useless. You're nothing but a drunk bed sprawler. I have not had a song since the night she danced. And you. Your confounded loyalty to a cold-blooded witch is even worse. We've all taken an oath to serve her as our queen. We were forced to take that oath. It doesn't even count. When I take an oath, I stand by it. We swore in front of Phineas. I don't break my word. The Saxons have broken all of their oaths. Phineas would tell you that. Roman rule, Saxon rule, it's all the same. This is the only thing still worthy of my loyalty. Snivel then, until your tunic is soaked in snot. We need to get Enid and Tavish away before she kills them. She would not kill them. Would you stop her? He wouldn't stop her. That monk is the only man in the village who has any backbone. All right. You've convinced me, Dove. I'll go with you, and we will get them to safety. I'm sure there's meat in the West. I hear you've been teaching Emrys and Uther. They're of our people. They must learn our ways. But they are Christian. Like many here, they still dwell in the ancient dark ways. I must lead them on the path to the light. Every path has shadows. Have you never considered the darkness that might be on your very own? <laughs> the boys will worship as they will. And you may teach them in their Christ of faith. What a man does with his beliefs is more important than what he believes. I have much to teach them. They must know more than weapons and folklore. Can you even read? The script of the Greeks, the Romans, and my peoples as well. But I have yet to learn the script of the Saxons. I can only read the Latin. But, but your people have never recorded any of their knowledge. You pass on your teachings orally. Our words are sacred and have power. And it is part of our ways to listen and observe to determine if the student is worthy. By writing them down, all a man needs is knowledge of the letters. That is why we do not pin our words to parchment. We share our Lord's gospel in writing as well as speech. That way all may come to know him and receive salvation. Let me tell you more of My thanks. But if I so desire, I will ask you. The Romans brought gods, and theirs were much like ours. But now Rome knows the one true God, and he is very different from yours. The world is so much larger than Rome. And how can one God look after so many peoples? Yours is a God of the deserts. Ours is an island of forests and marshes. Then please, tell me more of your customs. We are one with the land. As it feeds us, we feed it. From the time of a person's birth to the time of their death, they are one with all that is. As our lives have cycles, so do we follow the cycles of the sun. Rejoicing when the land awakens from the winter's frost into the summer's bounty. So your land blossoms when our Lord rose from the dead. Our land was blossoming long before your God was born. And your winter celebration of the sun is at the same time as the birth of the Son of God. But your Son of God is no God. The child of a god and a human woman is only a half-god. Then we have stories of these. To be a true god, the mother must be a goddess also. But Mary was but the physical vessel. The true mother of God is the Holy Spirit, Sophia, the divine wisdom. So do you have one god or three? They are all three one. A triple deity. 
Now that's the first thing you said that makes any sense. We have triple gods also, gods of land, of sea and sky. Just as the earth, sea and sky form one world. Come, let me show you some of their shrines. Catajurn, these folk have come from Emrys and Uther's village. This is one of the first hit by the Saxon raids. I was the chief. I owed my allegiance only to Vortiger. When the Saxons fell upon us, I went to him seeking justice. But he would not heal me. Father and Phineas would always listen to every petition, even from the poorest of peasants. No one can appeal to him now. The Queen turns everyone away. Phineas is lawkeeper in name only. What has happened to your village? Hengus has made himself king. He's turning our people into slaves. But before the Saxon bitch cast her spells on him, Bordegem was the best of kings. You are his son, and the son of our good Queen Severa. And yet you rot here growing vegetables. I tend to the land and care for those who seek refuge. We don't need refuge. We need retribution. We must have a strong leader, someone honorable, someone who can inspire broken people. Inspirations for the bards. Are you going to spend the rest of your life hiding with the druids? We came here for you, a prince, by blood and by upbringing. I renounce my claim to the throne. But you cannot renounce who you are. Who else can rally the people? They remember Vortigern before he was bewitched. You bear his legacy. And you know his village. Yes. There's a weak point in the fortification where a small force could easily get through. Will you come with us then? No one else can lead our fight. I understand that our whole country suffers, but... You've not seen him in years. He's changed. You left him when he renounced your mother. True. But are your warriors ready to fight Hengist? Yes, we are. We would rather die by the sword than endure another day of Saxon rule. I will get my armor, and I will come with you. Gotta join wait. You should talk to your mother and sister, and to Myrden. They would tell me not to go. And then the boys would want to come too. No, we must leave now. If we are quiet, we can slip into the fortification unnoticed. Taliesin, will you come? You'll need someone to tell of your deeds. Warriors are approaching. They will attack us tomorrow. What? They will not expect us to be ready for them. But you know my ear is always upon you. Who dare attack us here? Vortigern's son. <laughs> the useless ex-prince! <laughs> he is leading a group of fighters from the lands that you have taken. Prepare our warriors. They will not expect us to be ready for them. Don't worry, sister. We can take care of them. What about Lord to Jerm? Will he fight his own son? He will have to. He's better. Leave him.
Phoenix on the battlefield. Finish him. Raiders. <laughs> father on the battlefield against his own son. Do everything but kill him.